friends of the late Ms. Chidima Ajoku are demanding that traffic laws restricting the movement of heavy-duty vehicles in Lagos be enforced. The deceased and her friend, both employees of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, were crushed by a falling 20-feet container in Ilasa Maja on the 26th of July when the duo was on their way home from work. Sarah Ayeku reports. The 26th of July will forever be etched in the minds of family and friends of the late Miss Chidima Ajoku, a 27-year-old lady killed by a falling container on her way back from work. She is one of the 48 persons that have died from road accidents within January to July this year. Well over a month after, the pain is still being felt by her friends. This is a peaceful demonstration by friends and concerned Nigerians in the Lagos metropolis. They are calling for an end to what they term as unjust killings of commuters by mostly unlarged heavy-duty vehicles and strict enforcement of traffic laws restricting the movement of heavy-duty trucks. People just want to leave, you know, they don't want to step out of the house and end up dying just because the government didn't do something about it. And we are not protesting for just ourselves, but even for the government itself, because if there's anything COVID-19 has, COVID has taught us is that um, as a leader, you would end up sleeping in the bed that you lay for the common people. You know, we, we've seen what happened to the state people. So therefore, we need not just for ourselves, but even for the government, the governor, everybody to restrict the movement hours of the containers. Even though the walk lasted for just about 15 minutes, the message of the protesters was clear enough on their placards for lawmakers to take action. We are demanding that they restrict and enforce the movement of containers so that citizens can move about freely without being afraid that something is going to happen to them. After waiting for about 10 minutes, two lawmakers of the State House of Assembly walked up to the protesters in empathy assuring the laws will be re-examined to suit road users and public safety. It is just another um, way of reminding us to go back and look at the law properly and do the needful. And uh, we know the area of enforcement. I know that even the governor is a proactive governor and uh, the House of Assembly, which is above the normal standard of uh, the common standard of excellence of legislative uh, duties they will look at it the protesters have submitted the petition to the state house of assembly and to the governor's office they are hoping that this petition will be looked into and in coming days the laws which are already in place restricting the movement of heavy duty vehicles around lagos will be enforced Sarah Ayeku, TVC News, Lagos.